Hello and welcome! For those of you who are new, I'm Bunny Tails, and I've been playing Persona 5 Royal for the first time. I haven't played the original, so this is all new to me. So the last video was a doozy because we learned a lot of hard truths concerning Madarame, Yusuke, and Yusuke's mom. Honestly, I almost cried, and if I wasn't streaming, I probably would have cried. It's just, I still find it hard to really open up those emotions on stream, but I'm working on it. Anyways, now we just gotta wait to see if Madarami has a change of heart and confesses. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Oh, we're at 8%. 8%. Hey, hey. We're cleaning up today? It's further away than school, right? Hurry up and get dressed so we won't be late. All right, we got to get in our gym clothes. Looking good. It's Kitagawa. What's up? I'm calling about Madarame's state. For the time being, he hasn't suffered a mental shutdown. Other than that, his demeanor seems to have softened a bit. Is that the change of heart? Um, I don't know. I thought so. I was curious and looked into Kamoshida as well. It's as if he was an entirely different person. Will the same be true for Sensei? Well, I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's all I wanted to tell you. Good. Oh, I'll try asking him about the black masked intruder from the palace when the time is right. I don't think he's gonna know. Goodbye then. This time for sure. Sorry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Mm -hmm. You go to Shujin, right? I heard things have been rough there lately. What with that violent incident. You want to go talk about it somewhere? Uh, no, you slimy middle-aged man. I don't. Thank you for your concern. However, I really am in a hurry, so if you'd excuse me... <sighs> Come on, there's no need to be shy. Like I said... If you're busy, I'll put my number in your phone so you can call me later. Sound like a plan? Nope. Stop it. I can't overlook this. Look, Joker. You're gonna get sued again. Think about your own life. What do you want? You're hurting her. Don't get worked up. I'm just being friendly here. That didn't look friendly to me. Good guy Joker. He's like, screw the consequences. I cannot abide by this. Uh, what the? What are you getting so jumpy about? Like you're anything special. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ow, I just stepped on my green screen. That's always the response. Hey, girl. You wanna go out with me? Hey, girl. You wanna... You wanna hang out sometime? What? You rejected me? Well, you were ugly anyways, bitch! <laughs> Why do they... <laughs> they get so hurt, and then they're just like... <laughs> oh, man. This is so true to real. This is so true to real life. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the trouble. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. It was pretty scary though. Uh. Do we still remember Baby Mochi? I do. Do you remember Baby Mochi Mochi? Okay, now, see, this is... Now I'm gonna have fur all over me. But, <laughs> yeah. It's worth It's worth it. He's worth it. You're worth it, won't you? <laughs> Hold on. Oh my... No! 
emoji! My ribbon! Uh, um... May I ask you something? So, what made you step in to help me? I mean... I don't know why I wouldn't. I couldn't look the other way. I see. I don't know how all, th all these other people could. Well, I apologize for asking something so strange. You're headed to the cleanup as well, right? Thought you were supposed to be in your gym clothes, girl. The cleanup? <gasps> Look at the time! I'm so sorry, I haven't even thanked you properly yet. Oh no, I forgot my gym clothes at school. I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then if you'd like. Pardon me. I love her hair and her ribbon. <laughs> Yo, what took you so long? Did you really come here from home in your gym clothes? Is that weird? <laughs> Is that weird? No, that's not what I meant. Huh? Ain't it normal? And, uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit? Of course not! I brought my gym clothes with me. I was gonna change in the bathroom, but now there's a huge line. See? You should have done what we did. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. <laughs> it's such a nice day out that even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude. Could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? I bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. To answer your question, Ryuji, no. He's just gonna continue being awkward. Hey. And, <laughs> okay, why are we so popular here? Now Mr. Tanuki's here too. Morning, everyone. Huh? Are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. Uh, in those clothes? Did you bring snacks? Oh no, I'm in a difference. There you are, Dr. Maroki. Fawning female student, uh oh. It's the Tanuki fan club. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. See you all later. I hope we're having curry. I can't remember if I brought any starchy vegetables. More like Dr. Popular. You jealous? I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will be even bigger someday. Ain't that the truth? Taco Maruki is making snacks. <laughs> Dr. Snack. <laughs> Good morning, Shujin Academy students and staff. up all trash located in the areas assigned to your group. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork and vegetables will be served. Miso soup with pork and vegetables. That sounds good. I'll take it. I can't complain about that. Ooh, pork miso soup. So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. Tanjiro? FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. There are four people apiece, boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your groups and head to your assigned areas. All right, let's just get this over with as fast as possible so we can chow down on that soup and get out of here. I hate assigned groups. Yeah, him. Is he that transfer student? Yeah. You mean the one in all the crazy rumors? Keep it down. What if he hears us? Ugh. Anyone who just dumps a broken umbrella on the ground like this is human garbage. Oh, before you trash it, you have to make sure you separate the plastic parts from the metal frame. 
Separate it? How? Like this. Whoa, awesome! I had no idea you knew about that kind of stuff, Takamaki-san. I bet you'd make a wonderful wife. That's an odd thing to say. Oh, nah. Or is it? I don't know. I feel like that is. Sweet, a wallet! Anything in it? Whoa, yeah, shit ton! We go in splitsies on this? Wait, shouldn't we take that to a police box? What? How was that weird? <laughs> Ryuji gets all these bad, bad rap about him, but he's a... He's a pretty good guy, you know? Man, this park is trashed. The way this was all done by kids. It's gotta be the work of some no-good adults, too. If you don't mind, may I have the cap on that bottle? Huh? Sure. Oh, are you a collector? Uh, not exactly. Recycling companies collect these and convert them into vials for vaccines. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, that sounds like an awesome way to bring more justice to the world. Justice. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I follow you. Before I add taro to the pot, I have to rub them with salt to reduce the sliminess. Oh, you're an amazing chef. I do cook pretty often at home. Let me try this little technique here. Oh my god, what a huh? fucking what show off. Why is the wind salty? <laughs> I don't think that really worked out. <laughs> he tried to do the thing, but the wind kind of ruined it, didn't it? Uh, sorry. The cleanup is officially complete. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Would the leader of each group please come and get the soup for their teams? So, after the soup's doled out, everyone's free to do whatever they want. Huh. Including getting the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. I don't know the best way to put it, but it sure was a crappy time out there. Poor Joker, just being an outcast, shunned by his group that he's assigned to. Oh! I finally found you! I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? Uh... They ditched me. Ah, I see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's alright with you, why don't we eat our soup together? What is... This is soup, though. I don't get it. Sure. Great! Thanks for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. That oh, man was hungry. even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. I know, and he was all slimy and stuff. You're welcome. Yes! There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. Um, I don't even remember what happened. About what? The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. I remember the run-in, but I don't remember exactly what happened. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one is at the top of the list. Oh, 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 oh. the delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. Oh. Eh. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you, too. Were you surprised? 
I was, but I haven't paid it any real mind. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. Probably because they're all liars. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant tusk trafficking, was it? Elephant tusk trafficking? For real? Well, that's a first for me. It's absurd, isn't it? Rumors can't be trusted at all. Yet everyone starts shaking in their boots whenever they hear your name. Hmm? You know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. What? I thought your name was student called Yoshizawa. Uh, I'm Ren Amamiya. Oh, I'm sorry to make you go first. I apologize this was such a long time coming, but I hope we can get along well. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my... Oh, damn! She got hops! What the hell just happened? Huh, look. We got a recruiter to the bunny brigade. It seems to be a Shujin Academy pocketbook. The name Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside. Got it, just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? It's that girl that reminds me of Nanako in a way. Those damn pigtails. Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. Uh, you dropped this. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Oshizawa, a first year. That was impressive. You mean that back there? Oh, it was just some basic gymnastics. Ah, gymnast. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. A hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? We're gonna. Quit trying to re recruit everybody. I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, senpai? Just talking to my cat. Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? Can you teach me that stuff? Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is, I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. Performances? her gymnastics performances so it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time how can I advise you about gymnastics I don't get it you want my advice sure I do I'd love if you were willing to lend me an ear from time to time I see this sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me what do you think sounds like a sweet deal yes we have a deal. Let's shake on it. Yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Wait, that's a little overboard. But I promise, I'll glean as much as I can. All right, Sai. I ain't, ask I'm a I ain't answering any of your questions. I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. I am thou. Thou art I. We have the Faith Confidant, Kasumi Yoshizawa, rank one. All right. Yes, more friends. Oh, why don't we exchange contact information? Oh, and I get a girl's number. Huh? 
It shut down. Just kidding. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. <laughs> it's back. Okay, I'll what? contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Okay. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. Playing with my emotions here. <laughs> Let me get your number. Just kidding. Oh, wait. Let me get your number. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape. Oh, yeah. I trained with Kasumi. Let's go work at our nighttime job. Oh. Wait. What do I have here? Is it Mishima? Oh no, the orator. Yeah, I can't. I don't think he wants to talk to me yet, though. I need to work at my job. Please consider what I have to say. You. I'm interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, we can talk to him now. He noticed us before. Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. Well, if you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to student. I was thinking you could learn some things if you chose to attend a few of my speeches, though. Sure. Be glad to. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? You're a student from Shujin Academy, hmm? It's nice to meet you. I'm Toronosuke Yoshida. I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Very well. well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Everyone. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense, no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However... However... Even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we act in the best interest of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit. A world where the young exist only to be exploited is a world that must be changed. Look at... I just noticed us holding the sign. <laughs> I wonder what it says. Uh, maybe it's probably his name. Hmm. Hmm. Easy for him to say. Old timers like me have our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no name. He probably won't get too far. Nothing's going to change. We'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blathering about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of the state in the capable hands of the Liberal Co-Prosperity Party? You mustn't base your decision on whom to support merely accorded to, according to the party they belong to. Ah, just shut him up already! You're just a washed up politician. <clears throat> if I'm chosen to represent the will of the people, then I'm fully prepared to- In the best interests of all- Ha! Huh! Save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected! Thank you. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what did you think of my speech? The best interests of all? I'm glad. Indeed. Do you feel the same? Such as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times, like today, when the audience has a difference in opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? You have my support. 
Thank you. Thank you. It is encouraging to know that my message has won you over. Besides, I've grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although, I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I can learn a lot by listening to Yoshida's speeches. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Perhaps I'll ask for your impressions again sometime. Morning! Guess we don't get the, uh, the rank yet. Alright, what's up? By the way, the exhibit's till the end of this week, huh? We did what we could, and now we wait for the results. Um. Uh, wanna head out? <laughs> True, it's important to take a breather after some hard work. But I feel like my body will be weaker if I play around too much. Oh right, when people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal settlements through force. For some reason, they end up getting romanticized. Now then, I'm a mia -kun. What is the answer? Do you know which peg-legged parrot-toting oh, parrot historical figure's appearance became visual shorthand for pirates? Um... Is it Captain Kidd? <laughs> I know Long John Silver's is a, uh, a restaurant. Captain Kidd? Hmm. I'm afraid not. Ah, shit. The answer was Long John Silver. They did that. They put that there to throw me off. And it worked. Guess he doesn't study after all. You know what? Fuck y'all! Why'd the goody two-shoes first year come along? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. It looks like people talk about I'm guessing Yoshizawa as much as they talk about hey, Joker. There you are. I need your help with something. What's up? I, uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. The hell is that? Housekeeping service. Help. It's just an ad. It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. Oh my god, Ryu Fucking Ryuji, don't get fooled by this. Kawaii maido ga anata no something ni. Nandemo something shimas. Hey, a maid, dude. A maid who'll do anything for us. Right, right. What do you want me to do? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. You're a guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? Is Ryuji trying to get laid right now? Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. The place is all set, so Uh Hey, I heard that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mishima is always just randomly popping up. Um, can I? Uh, oh my god, not you too, Mishima. Get in on this? No! 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 <laughs> uh, Joker talks some sense into these. The fan, the fan girls thing didn't work out, so he's gonna try for the maids. You mean you're into this kind of stuff? Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, Vince, I think Vince, you mentioned that uh, Ryuji's voice acting is your favorite in this, and I keep thinking about that a lot because 
Like, the way he delivers his lines is really good. I'm not into it. It's just for research. Just for research. What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. Can't be helped. I guess we have to then. Right? And if it's a scam, then we need to punish them. Uh. Right. Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Every little detail. <laughs> we'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. So what's the code name for this operation? Hmm. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like... Operation Maid Watch! Nice! I like that. <laughs> the minds of Japanese teens. I think it's just teens in general, right? Oh yeah, something happened to me the other day. Actually, I almost got kidnapped. Darn, next time. <laughs> Who would kidnap a cat? What? I'm not a cat! That said, I don't actually have a clue why I was targeted. Some girl had this crazy look in her eyes, and she was chasing me around calling me a snowball or something. I wonder if she's been going after other cats and snatching them up like she tried with me. Try checking the fan site to see if anyone's saying anything about it. I wasn't able to find any relevant posts. Hmm, maybe it's just not a well-known problem yet. The only victims are cats, so I, post I suppose that could be the case. Okay, let's go. Let's try asking around in Youngkin and see if we can find the culprit. Oh, it's you. <sighs> is she following us? Yeah, she probably is. She's trying to look. <laughs> oh, she actually is following us. Oh my gosh. I have to... If I do mementos during the day... Can I... Okay, l girl, stop. Fuck, get, we gotta get away from this girl. Oh, hey, it's you. Hmm? Hey, I know Got you. News? Oh, you're that kid who was at Madarame's house. Did you manage to learn anything interesting? Not really. I see. Well, let me know if you hear anything interesting. I'm here on assignment. That is, I heard an interesting rumor on the internet. Seems someone left a calling card for Madarame, so I rushed over to get the scoop. I tried to get an interview, but no one's talking. Maybe I got a bad lead. Mm. This is the woman who showed up at Madarame's house. She said she was a journalist. I guess she's doing a story on him or something. We haven't gathered any info on the cat ab abductions, have we? Let's try asking people around town. Hmm? That lady looks really happy now. Is it because uh, she got a bunch of cats? I suppose. I personally think it's a bit too much. With that many, it gets so loud I can't sleep at night. A bunch of cats? Hey! Hey, she might be talking about that catnapping case. Let's ask her for more information. Can I help you? I'm concerned too. You're concerned about that household as well? She suddenly brought home a massive number of cats. I wasn't sure if she was alright. It's terribly noisy at night and they shed everywhere. I'm worried that it's not the healthiest environment to raise those cats. That is worrying. Yes, I agree. I even told the landlord about the situation at Aino-san's home, but it looks like nothing's changed. Do you know her full name? Huh? Her name? I'm not sure. I only say hello to her every now and then, so I don't know her that well. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can learn anything else from her. Let's get out of here and go over what we know so far. So here's what we learned from that mother and child. This Aino lady suddenly adopted a lot of cats. There's concern about the noise at night and shedding. Mm. The cats might be acting that way because they're stressed. Well, then. Okay, we might be able to find some other clues. Let's keep investigating around Yongin. 
really isn't much around here. I mean, I already talked to these people. Hmm? How can I help you? Nope. Where else do I go to, hmm? to find information? I'm confused. At least we got some groovy music. I'm blind? What am I blind about? It seems this place doesn't get much sunshine. Oh. I thought we had something there. I guess I was wrong. He's just selling his fruit trays. I keep passing it. What is it? I don't even know what I'm looking for. Clearly I keep passing it. There's only two streets in this freaking town. There's no other people here. I already talked to all these people. I talked to them twice. I talked to him already. And I talked to him already. What? Oh my god, guys. Oh, the old man? I talked to him already. Oh my god. Maybe that woman really did take him. A woman? Hey. I didn't talk to him again after I talked to the lady. I thought I did. Guys, it's not funny. Hey, he might be talking about that catnapping case. Let's ask him for more information. Hmm, did you want to listen to the radio? About that woman. Oh yes, there's this woman who nabs all the cats around here and calls them Snowball. A few people I know have been victims. The same thing probably happened to the cat here. That's terrible. It sure is. She's one creepy lady. To boot, calls all the cats a snowball. Even if they're not white. But I did get her name. It's Ryoko Aino. I asked for it when I went to the police, so there's no mistake. The police just treat cats like objects. Those little guys are family to me. I wish there was something I could do about this mess. You ought to be careful too, since you're toting a cat around. <sighs> not only are other cats suffering, but she's also hurting people too. The Aino household was the one that suddenly got a lot of cats, right? That's gotta be our target. <sighs> well, I'm glad you guys are having a good time. Crazy cat lady. Snowball! Come here, Snowball! A man's voice. Uh oh, who's barging in here? This is a private lesson, okay? I need my one-on-one -on -one time with Miss Legs here. So, this is the Takemi Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine? I'm glad it's still open. Sorry, I have a child I ha I need to have examined. Oh. Looks like I have a patient with an emergency. I can help! And? Oh, it's that girl that I keep seeing. So, why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to exa examine her. Wait, does this... Does she have any good rumors about her? I, f I, I thought they were all bad rumors. I'm kind of curious what kind of rumors he heard that would make him want to bring his daughter here. Apparently someone's saying something good. She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has great legs. Okay, look. Pops. <laughs> Get your priorities straight. She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. We've been going to a big hospital. The University Hospital in East Shinjuku. But all they tell us is that it's persistent bronchitis. <sighs> a university hospital in East Shinjuku? The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner. Out here in the sticks, as you can see, I don't even have any staff. Wait! I heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here! Please, I'll pay you. Please at least just examine her. Hey! Hold on! <coughs> Doctor, my chest really hurts. Dr. Takemi will help, won't you, Doctor? 
<laughs> That's right. I said what I said. Doctor! <sighs> Fine. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm. No signs of swelling. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure! Hmm... Hello? Uehara-san? Is Dr. Schweitzer there? Schweitzer? There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medicine medical journal. I see. Guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Also, bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge, a towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving. Thank you so much. I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what do we do? It was a very unique strain of an infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I temporarily suppress the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. Okay, that'll be one million yen for today. <laughs> one million yen. Wow, quite a bargain. She's practically doing it for free. A million yen? That's outrageous! You're completely taking advantage of- I mean, alright. I agreed to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? Wait! <laughs> You're not really gonna charge him a million, are you? Wait, how much is a million yen in, like, in, in US dollars? Like a thousand dollars? Ten ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that seems my surgery wasn't even that much. I'll go withdraw some cash right now. What huh? Wait, you're actually going to pay? By the way, that famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it medical chief of staff Oy Oyamada? Yes, are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. Free? <laughs> you seem happy. <laughs> ah, she liked that. See, I'm getting good. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? Treating his patient without permission. By the way, thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. So is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant, guinea pig. He's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? Feels like my bond with Takemi is growing even deeper. Oh yeah. Alright. See that was fun. Um, doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, doctor. <sighs> Don't mention it. Your turn. I wonder of what kind of response you'll have this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home. My guts has improved. How are you feeling right now? Today's drug was a kind of a rough one, huh? But maybe it was just what my careless little guinea pig deserved, huh? Okay, wow. Ahem. <clears throat> Lady. <laughs> A 
especially after approving that girl's consultation without my permission. Yes, doctor. I've been naughty and I need to be punished. Please. Punish me more. <laughs> I just had to. Good God. Well, none of my medicine can cure that. The drug does seem to be more stable compared to the early stages, though. It's probably thanks to your cooperation. Feels like I'm almost there, so try not to die just yet, okay? Alright, take care. <laughs> hey, she was... Ah, you're back. She's teasing me. How else am I supposed to respond? Hey, you didn't forget, did you? You know, about that flyer. We need to look into the truth behind that housekeeping service. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. <laughs> I'm over at Central Street right now, so come talk to me if you're interested. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? Let's go. Wait, I'll decide later. Yeah, the crosswords. <laughs> All right, let's watch the TV. Uh, okay, we're, gonna, we're doing Shogi again. Well, the natural move to make here would be pawn to 3-4. But you asked about pawn to 9-5? I don't think I'd ever make that move. It's something a maverick... Oh, he just moved his pawn to 9-5. <laughs> Let's do some crossword puzzles. Okay. Nihonga. Cult so blank cultural artwork. Oh god, okay, I'm already feeling... Sushi wrapper. Uh, they wrap sushi in seaweed. What is that called? Okay. Kimono sash. Oh, fuck. What is, is it? Like, ob oboe or something? No, what is it? I don't know. Shit. Uh, Japanese floral art. Okay, this stuff is very difficult for me as a non-Japanese person. I'm... Mm. I don't... I'm, I might need help with these. Yeah, it's the next door neighbor kids. Okay. <laughs> That's not distracting at all. Nihonga. Jap oh, okay. Nihong is for is means Japan. Okay, I'm gonna fill in Okay. So Sushi wrapper. Nudi? Naru? <laughs> what is the first letter of Japanese floral art? Maybe I've heard of it before. What's the first letter? It is an I. Fuck. How do you say flower? Hana? Ike. Ike. Just tell me what it is. Ike bana. Oh, bana. Hana. Bana. Okay. Obi? Is it obi? Obi and Nori. This is Nori. I right? Is it right? Yay! <laughs> they were in there somewhere. Okay, Japanese. In contrast to imported Western art styles, paintings produced post 1900 using techniques developed within Japan are referred to as Nihonga. Foreigners visiting Japan during the Meiji period called this Japanese painting, which the literal Japanese translation as Nihon Japan Ga artwork. Uh, my nose is all itchy. <laughs> So, we're executing Operation Maid Watch tonight for sure, right? Hell yeah. All right. Sweet. I've been waiting for this. Wait, you already changed out of your uniform? 
I guess that's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? Let's stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. <sighs> so, we're really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? <laughs> Operation Maid Watch, bro. <laughs> yeah, Operation Maid Watch. Well. If it turns out to be sketchy, we can just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's homes. <laughs> I'm still worried. We'll be fine. You're a real wuss, you know that? To think, Sakamoto has a brain. But if that's the case, then... Then... Yep. Okay, give him a call. Go ahead, Mishima. <laughs> well, I guess he could do it too. Okay, go for it, Mishima. <gasps> Me? I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Seriously. Please, Amamiya. Okay, are we? Are we not even gonna end up calling? Is this how this is gonna end? Oh, we're pulling out the phone. Yes. Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's secret. I mean, Victoria's housekeeping. <gasps> they answered. Hey. Shh. I take it you're interested in our services then? S services. Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Anyone we want to request? What should we do, Ren? Uh, no preference. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask for your address? Whoa. Shit. This is really happening. A maid's services. Hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we start with some cooking. Of course, I wouldn't mind some of the other services, either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? They said 20 minutes, right? Ugh, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, it's almost time. You were in there for a while. Are you okay? Hey, did you wash your hands? Uh, what? What? Who, me? You're really nervous. <laughs> uh, are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? Huh? What? What do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. What if they find out who we are? Wait. How should I know? But why would uh, how old are you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? We would have been screwed if your number had shown up on their caller ID. <gasps> They're here! <laughs> Ryuji's eyes! <laughs> Good evening. I'm from the housekeeping service. <gasps> what? Already? She's five minutes early! What do we do? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared. Oh, the door is unlocked. Um, may I come in? I can't do this. My stomach's acting up, and my hands are all sweaty. Oh, my bad, man. Okay, you handle the rest, and don't let her out of your high. Uh, let her find out you're a high school student. I've got your back, just from way back, like from the balcony. Wh what? <laughs> I can't do this either, Amma Mia. We'll leave it to you. Ryuji and Mishima fled to the balcony. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, Master. <gasps> it's like Nanako, but grown up. <laughs> Nanako, what happened to you? <laughs> Welcome home. Turn to welcome home, master. <laughs> Don't
don't say shit like that. With the welcome home, that's immediately where my <laughs> Call me big bro. <laughs> Excuse me. For my fir for your first task, I would like to request that you sing the Juness theme. Have you ever been to Inaba? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome home. <laughs> I'm going to fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of serving you today. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry, but there are other services we provide if you desire. Hmm? You look young, master. Are you, perhaps, in high school? I'm a dad. <laughs> I'm a dad. I have a cat dad. I have a fur baby. Um, <coughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in college. Wow, your skin's so healthy. You're not lying to me, are you? Hmm. I'll wait to pro provide those other services until you've matured a bit, Master. So, I'll be going now. Huh? What? No! Quiet! Is someone there? Oh no! Shit! Run, Mishima! Mishima? Sakamoto-kun? And you? Hmm... Wait, who is... Do we know her? Did you request me specifically? Wait, are you? Wait, who is it? Oh, no, it's all right. How would you know me? Yeah, she doesn't look familiar. Wait. I mean, I don't know. This is our first meeting. Yes, the first time ever, master. Ugh, this is unbelievable. Yes, it's me, you're- No! No! Focusing too much on her goddamn sweater. I need to I need to voice act, okay. Yes, it's me, your homeroom teacher. I'm so done. I can't believe I got caught by my by some of my own students. I should have taken a job outside of the city. She does other services? <laughs> She polishes thumbs. <laughs> no. Oh my god, Vince. But I needed it to be close to school so I could go there after I finished work. Hey, 
Who did you hear about this from? Oh, it was Miss Chono, wasn't it? That harpy! Miss Chono, the English teacher. She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Are you going to tell Miss Chono about this? That's up to you. Will you give me some of your extra services? And I'll be silent. <laughs> um. <clears throat> what do you mean? Hmm. It doesn't seem like you're playing dumb. In any case, I'll get in big trouble if you tell on me. Hey, if you're going to side with a teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class after all. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chono about this, I'll do anything for you. Anything? Mm, hey. Hey, it won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. Well, I promise I'll keep... I'll, I'll promise to keep this a secret, too. So why don't we both forget this ever happened? I'll treat this as if you had cancelled, so you won't have to pay anything, okay? On that note, I'll be leaving. Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Just act as if nothing ever happened! Got it! Got it? Okay, bye! <clears throat> I suddenly feel exhausted. <sighs> I want to go home. <laughs> oh god, my stomach. Too much laughing. <laughs> I was legitimately surprised by that. There she is. Look at look at how from okay. Like is that really the same? I guess I guess it is. You should wear some pigtails when you come to school. Miss mm -hmm. Kawakami, I already know. Kawakami's being driven into a corner by Chono. Let's talk to her so we can help her out. <sighs> As I've been saying, Get home safely, Amamiya-kun. Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished talking yet. Uh, so... But I... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question. And yet you leave work earlier than anyone, and you barely make it to the faculty meetings. Explain yourself! Don't tell me you're out running around at night! Kawakami's being grilled by Chono. She said she'd do anything if we helped her out, so let's clear up Chono's suspicions. The school's closing soon, Mr. Amamiya. Head on home before it gets late. Or did you need something from Ms. Kawakami? I have a question for her. What? What? Huh? Oh, you have another question? Another question? That's right. Oh, see... I didn't... I don't know if I've ever seen her smile before, but I didn't recognize when the maid was, like, having that, like, crooked smile. I'm like, i never seen that smile before. Maybe I have, and I just wasn't paying attention. Amamiya-kun's questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours, hmm? What passion! You are the ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what we need at this school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. Wow, that was easy. Hmm. She just kind of convinced herself. But that did clear up her suspicions, so thanks. Could you come with me for a bit? I can't talk about this at school. This is the address and phone number of my night job. I received Kawakami's phone number. Why are you giving me this? Call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up on your call history though, okay? Hey! Wait, what? 
extra special services? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you did it! Score! <laughs> no call history means a public telephone. Let's call from LeBlanc's yellow phone. Let's call Kawakami when you're free and invite her to meet you at your room. What the fuck is going on? Well, okay, I have to go. What just happened? What the f- What just happened? <laughs> I was not- I was not prepared for Persona 5.